The main aim of the project is to create a regional digital library to support the development of an intellectual and innovative potential of the society, to make a quick access to information and knowledge content possible, and to protect valuable documents of the region and national literature works. With the discovery of gold in 1851 and Victorian independence from New South Wales, it was transformed into a leading industrial and commercial centre of the nation. Melbourne became the economic centre of both Australia and neighbour New Zealand at the time. The Victorian economy is the second largest in Australia, accounting for a quarter of the nation's gross domestic product. The total gross state product at current prices for Victoria was at just over a $222 billion, with a GSP per capita of a $44,443. The project implementation was financed by EU structural funds and first collections are to be created in the years 2005 to 2006. Finance, insurance and property services form Victoria's largest income producing sector, while the community, social and personal services sector is the state's biggest employer. The project implementation was financed by EU structural funds and first collections are to be created in the years 2005 to 2006. Despite the shift towards service industries, the troubled manufacturing sector remains Victoria's single largest employer and income producer. The main aim of the project is to create a regional digital library to support the development of an intellectual and innovative potential of the society, to make a quick access to information and knowledge content possible, and to protect valuable documents of the region and national literature works.